earlier because then what we can do is we can start at the top of the hour and we can make sure that everybody is actually here and ready to go. So um, we have two minutes. So let me know where you where you are. If you can hear me, I have my microphone set up here. You should be able to hear me. Give me a thumbs up. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, give us a thumbs up. Um, share it with any friends that you think might want to see some weird and wonderful things today. And um, yeah, let me know. I want to know where you are. I want to know who you are. And if you're hiding behind a strange name, I want to know who you are, okay? Um, let's have a look at the chat. Come on, don't be shy. I don't know if you can hear uh, my fan going on. Okay, hear you well in Atlanta. Excellent. Thank you, Dr. A, if I may call you Dr. A. Um, I don't know if you can hear my overhead fan because we're going through a bit of a, a little bit of a warm patch here in Barcelona. Um, so summer has come a little bit early. Okay, so um, we have about 55 seconds until we start. Hey, Victoria from Denver. Never been to Denver, I'd say. I, I was in Atlanta for a little while, a couple of weeks. Uh, Brooklyn, New York. Hello, Nicole. Welcome, welcome. Nikki from Utah, or Utah. Welcome as well. It's great to have you here. Um, we spend about 55 minutes to an hour to maybe an hour and four minutes <laughs> um talking about plr.me content hey rob um and we talk about how you can use it in different ways because what we want to make sure is that when you use the content you can use it not just in the way that um you are presented the content because you, you see you're presented the content as maybe an article maybe as a blog post but that doesn't mean that you actually have to use it as a blog post or as an article you can actually use it as something completely different okay so we're going to see today how you can actually use this content in many different ways okay not just the standard way that you may have um, seen on our website. So I'm going to start Hi, now. And what I'm going to do actually is, well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm working from home. Um, so I just have one screen available to me. So I will be switching between screens. But I want to share my screen because I have a little bit of a PowerPoint presentation to do. So let me know if you can see my screen OK. Um, and let me just see here. Okay. Hey, Regina. Hey, Barbara. Hey, Hazel. Everybody see my screen? Okay. We have slides to go through. And honestly, you are going to enjoy this. Okay. And I just want to show my slides only. Okay. Everybody can see it. Excellent. So, um, let's, let's start here. Um, what we're going to cover is we're going to talk about five normal things that you can do with our content. I mean, everybody's doing this. Well, maybe not everybody's doing this, but five ideas to use our content. Then we're going to look at the five weird things that you will say, hmm, um, I wonder what he's going to do with the content. But I think you'll be surprised. Um, and then I'm going to ask you, are you one of the lucky 10 people? And you have to watch the to, till the end, to the end, till the end to see if you are going to be one of the lucky 10 people. And I'll tell you more about that because it's something rather exciting. And then we will have a questions and answers session as well. Okay. So hello, that's me. I am Richard Butler, Director of Education, Zaniness, um, funny things, not so funny things sometimes because sometimes people don't get my humor. Um, but I do lots of things here at plr.me. And one of them is doing these YouTube videos to help you get more from our actual content. So the first thing that you could do, then one of the normal things that you could do with our content is you could create a clubhouse room. I told you that we're going to be a little bit weird on the things that we're doing, but you could create on your phone, you can get an app called Clubhouse and it's absolutely free. And it 
just looks like that. Okay, if you can see my phone. And what Clubhouse is, is an audio only room. Became very, very popular um, during COVID. And I, I think that's kind of when I started to hear about it because people were stuck at home. They wanted to listen to other people. They wanted to engage with other people, uh, which you can do on Clubhouse. And it exploded on the scene. And basically what Clubhouse is, and if you have experience with Clubhouse, let me know and I'll check the comments just in, in a second. Basically what Clubhouse is, is an audio only app, which allows you to set up a room and you can have the room open or closed and people can come into the room and you just speak into your phone and that's it. And then people can raise their hand and ask questions. So here's an idea. You could get one of our, um, one of our articles and you could just say, okay, today what I'm going to do is I want to talk to you about 10 reasons that you mightn't be as motivated as you could be. And you could read the article. You don't have to get on camera. You could be in your pajamas, living the dream in your pajamas in bed. Read the article out and then get people to comment on this. So you could bring people up. If you have any questions about this, um, do just uh, raise your hand and I will bring you on board here. Now, the beauty of Clubhouse is that there's no video because I know a lot of people don't want to be on video. They're just a little bit afraid of being video. Okay. Um, and Clubhouse can do that for you. Now, you may not know, but my sources have told me that LinkedIn are testing a Clubhouse type application where instead of just going live, you can actually uh, go live, but without video. Now, they're rolling this out to different creators. Um, I haven't got it yet, but as soon as I get it, I will actually try it out because audio is becoming the new video maybe. OK, but one of the things I mean, which is really, really important is that when you um, think about using something like Clubhouse, well, you could just use your phone and you could just hold your phone up like that. Or what you could decide to do is you might decide to actually just use your your headset from your computer and actually uh, do your audio broadcast like that. Now you, you may be seeing me a little bit dark. Um, I just have the blinds on because it's so bright outside, okay? Um, so that's the first thing that you could do with our content. You could do a clubhouse. The second thing, which you may not know how to do, but it's super simple, is create what is called a LinkedIn carousel. And you may have seen these on LinkedIn. And what it is, is it's a post with probably arrows on it, and people can click onto the next page and onto the next page and onto the next page. It does two things. It gets engagement and it gets people to stop, look at your post and be on your post for a number of seconds or minutes, which I have been told helps the LinkedIn algorithm. So the more your content is looked at, the more um, LinkedIn will promote that content or see that, well, somebody has spent one minute on Richard's post, that's much better than the person who spent two seconds on the other post. Okay. Have you used LinkedIn carousels? Um, have you, uh, you know, have you, do you know, or did you know that these things existed? Um, because I mean, they really are quite interesting to, to have and to use. Um, if you have used, if you haven't used them, do you know? how to create them, or does it sound complicated? I mean, let's be honest, does that sound like it might be something that is complicated, or do you think it sounds easy? Now, I'm just gonna see if I can brighten up. Ah, now that's much better. I've just brightened up my um, image there, so much better, okay? Now, Sabita says that she has used them on Instagram. Well, here is what you need to do. You go into, an application like Canva, and you create an Instagram um, carousel. I think they have an option there for Instagram carousel. And it has to be the format that they use on Instagram. Well, it doesn't have to. You could you could do it another way. But um, go into Canva, find a template for Instagram stories. I think it's Instagram stories. And then what you do is you basically design six little, if there's a template, I mean, that one that I used is just a template. 
and I just changed the text uh, there. And you save that as a PDF. And when you upload it as a PDF, it then becomes a carousel. Okay, really, really interesting because it gets engagement from people. I think when I put that up, I, I put it up and once I did the screenshot, uh, there were, uh, what's it there, 400 and, uh, 491 views of that actual post. Okay, so all you do is you go into Canva, you create an Instagram story template, uh, which I think is um, 1080 by, by 1080. It's, or it's a rectangular shape. And then you save it as a PDF. You upload it up to LinkedIn and it comes up like this. So how does that match to our content? Well, you could take um, maybe the first five, uh, well, if there's five headings or the first five tips or headings from an article and just put those in and then have a call to action. If you want to read the full article or if you want to find out more about this, come to my website. Okay. How does that sound? Does that sound like... Um, possibly an interesting idea. I, I, I think it does. Um, you could start a TikTok channel. And of course, I have to do that when it comes to TikTok. Um, I went on to TikTok. Maybe I'm just too old. I didn't really understand it. I mean, I, I get it that it is short videos. I mean, 30 seconds long, etc. cetera. Um, I know some people are using it very effectively, but I just thought my market is not there. I'm not going to focus in on that. But you could create a 30 second content based from our actual um, content. So you could, it could be a reflection. Okay. The, you could take one of our affirmation reflections, they're just one credit each. And you could just take the question and go, okay, three things to reflect on in the next 30 seconds one, two, and three. Okay. Um, TikTok is meant for audiences that uh, want quick content delivered to them. So it's not to give a big sermon. It's something quick and snappy. So you could definitely do that. Um, so have a look at that um, and then see how you can use it. Okay, let me just take a cu couple of questions. Uh, Rob says, I'm on LinkedIn, but don't know anything about it or Instagram. Um, I use it on Facebook. I guess it's the same. Well, I mean, on LinkedIn, I mean, uh, my market is on LinkedIn. The HR executives that I target are definitely on LinkedIn. And I put a lot of my focus. I spend most of my day um, with LinkedIn opened. And I'm making sure that I'm uh, putting out good content there. So if your market are, link are on LinkedIn, definitely use this feature. I think it will be really good. Remember always to take our content and repurpose it and give lots of value to a potential audience so that they can say, wow, this is the person I want to talk to when I have a challenge, when I have a question about whatever topic it may be. Now, remember, depending on your audience, depending on your niche, maybe they're on LinkedIn, but maybe they won't interact on LinkedIn. Now, why might that be? Because if you are uh, helping executives from depression and stress and burnout, and you post, are you suffering from stress, burnout, and depression? Well, maybe they're not going to like your post. Maybe they're not going to interact with your post because they know that their boss may be watching. So maybe that is much better on Facebook. Or maybe you say, um, if you are feeling this way, you know, make sure that you join my Facebook group or DM me with um, the words, you know, five tips in order to get my free. Uh, checklist to see if you're suffering from burnout. So always think about that. If your posts aren't getting engagement, I guarantee you people are watching you because when I have calls with people, they say, oh, I saw your content on LinkedIn. Or I really liked what you said about um, X, Y, Z. Okay, so think about that as well. Um, okay, any questions? And you know, you know when I ask, are there any questions? I'm going to take a drink. If you are enjoying everything so far, Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. Let me know when you've done that. And of course, keep watching till the end because there's something very special for 10 people and only 10 people who stay until the end. Um, you could create a motivational calendar. Now you may have seen, we do have a video um, on our uh, website 
of one of our clients who actually created a motivational calendar. Now imagine, let me sell you this idea. Imagine your client every single day sees a motivational quote from you or every single month there's a motivational quote of the month and I'm looking up as if I had a calendar here. And then they think, wow, and what I need to do is I need to contact Richard because uh, I have a question about X or Y. Something like a printed calendar would be amazing, okay? Having a printed calendar would be amazing. Now, don't worry. This is not going to mean that you have to go out and you have to, you know, buy like uh, 1,500 calendars or get 1,500 calendars printed. We're going to talk about that as well. I'm going to um, talk about that later on in this session. Okay. You could, number five, different things you could do with our content. Create a Facebook or LinkedIn poll. Now, what could you do with this? Well, you ask a question to your audience. Um, it could be, do you suffer from any of the following um, feelings when you are working? And it could be, you know, stress, lack of motivation, um, tiredness, whatever it may be. What are you going to do with that information? I want somebody to tell me what they are going to do with that information. I mean, what could you do with that information? If people respond to your poll and some people, 22% of people uh, suffer from lack of motivation, 62% um, of people, uh, yeah, okay, I'm still within the range of 100, 62% of people suffer with um, stress. What could you do with that information? I want somebody to tell me, what they would do or what they think they could do with that information. Ah, perfect. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Look at this. Okay, create content to address the feelings. Now, hold on a second. Let me remove one of those words there. Don't create the content. You have it in the plr.me library. So the idea would be that you could reach out to these people and say to them, hey, thank you so much for responding to my poll. Um, I have this free checklist that I would love to give you. Um, and it uh, you could even give it to them for free or over a direct message because you would have it branded with your logo and with your call to action. Okay? That is really important. So imagine you get 60 people respond. 20 people have problems with stress. 40 people have problems with motivation. You individually contact them. Hey, Richard, I'm just reaching out to you because you um, voted on my poll and you voted that you're feeling stressed at work. I've got this, this really good checklist that is going to help you or this really good article about five tips. And you can either send them the PDF, fully branded, of course, and the, or you could, as somebody mentioned, put content on your blog and direct them to your blog. But probably sending them PDF directly to them be a DM would be a really good idea. Now, the other thing that you can use this uh, for is for coming up with ideas of what you're going to post net next. So in a recent poll that I did, you know, 42% of people said that they suffered from lack of motivation in work. Here's five tips for how to be more motivated. And what could you create? A LinkedIn carousel. Exactly. Just what I was thinking. Okay. Um, nice idea here from... Uh, uh, JT, you could develop a course to address the issue. Absolutely. Okay. Um, it allows you to speak to their particular needs. And you could say, last week, I created a poll and I was shocked by how many people are actually suffering from stress. In my poll, 62% of people said they suffered from stress. Okay. Um Regina, I like the way you're thinking. Create a mini course on stress management using PLR. Absolutely. Now, remember, with all of these ideas, you're going to be, you're not going to be creating a word of content. You may be tweaking a couple of words, but you are going to go to the library, you are going to download content, and you are going to um, present that content to them. Okay. Now, you could combine two of these ideas. What if you did this? But if you created a poll, then create a LinkedIn carousel. And at the end of the LinkedIn carousel, you said, make sure you join me every week on my Clubhouse channel 
where I talk about stress management. I mean, then you're combining the three things together and you're bringing people over to Clubhouse. Now, I've been on, I've dabbled in Clubhouse and I've seen channels where there could be thousands of people listening. Now, you imagine if you could build a following of thousands of people. Think about building the following first. Think about, you know, giving great value and then think, how can I monetize that? So remember, don't just go after the money. I mean, the money is important. You have to have the sales funnel, but think about that. And of course, where are you going to get the content? Hmm. Ah, PLR.me. Of course, I nearly forgot. Okay. Um, yeah, you could. I mean, you could uh, definitely do a mental health month. Okay. Because it's a topic that has hit the mainstream even more with COVID that people are getting, uh, you know, are speaking out more about or need help with that. Okay. Um, Regina says you could create a five, or you could use a five-day challenge. Of course, on PLR.me, we have five-day challenges. We have challenges about um, get moving. We have challenges about goal setting. Okay, we have we a have number of challenges that you can actually use. So again, you are educating them and you're agitating a problem. Now, I always say agitate the problem, and I mean that in the nicest way possible. The example that I give to a lot of clients when I talk to them on the phone is, I say, do you ever notice in winter that there's a lot of ads for um uh, like mechanics um, and and companies like garages um, that are promoting a seven point checkup or a five point checkup, and like you might hear the ad and it's like you know make sure your car is ready for the winter months. Come down to Richard's amazing mechanical warehouse, and we will do a five point check free of charge. Don't be unsafe this winter. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know I needed a five point check. So now they made me realize that maybe I have a challenge. And then they say, come on down for a five for a free um, checkup. And they might even give you free coffee as well. Probably horrible coffee, but they'll give it to you for free. Free is good. <laughs> I'll drink free coffee any day. Uh, well, most days. Um, but the idea here is that once they get you down, they'll say, hmm. You know how it is that it's like when you bring a builder into your house and they're off, don't like the look of that, you know, and you're like, well, tell me what it is or you go to the mechanic. But the idea there is that they will sell you something. So they will sell you, oh, you need oil. Oh, well, I, bet I'm, I might, since I'm here, I might as well get the oil. So if you build up the content, bring people over to your website or over to your Facebook group or your LinkedIn group, they're more than likely not going to look anywhere else to actually um find the solution to their to their problems that they have or their challenges okay questions don't be shy i'm not going to invite hmm, should i invite somebody here live no i'm not going to invite anybody live so don't worry about that okay um question so far enjoying it everything is good um if you are enjoying it um as my Loyal supporter here, Savita will say, fire. <laughs> I was going to ask, what does F-I-Y-A mean, Savita? But then I decided not to because, yeah, it's fire. Okay, any questions before we move on to something a little bit weird? Okay, so, so far, I mean, these are pretty normal ideas. So I want you all to take a deep breath and right in the actual comments i'm ready for this okay because i think then we're going to get a few wows and do make sure that you are sitting down okay make sure that you're sitting down because i don't want anybody to fall off their chair or just with so much excitement and speaking of excitement stay until the end because i have something special for 10 of you guys but you have to be here in order to 
know about this. I'm ready for this. I think I should play some music. Do, do, do. I'm ready for this. Okay. So I should get up and dance, but I won't because I have my pajamas on. No, I don't have my pajamas on. Uh, okay. So uh, Lanny is ready. Regina is ready. Jane is ready. John is ready. Rob is ready. I, Rob, I'm ready for this. I like it, Rob. Uh, SRH Consulting is ready. Windy is win, Windy is ready. Jackie is ready. Okay. So let's talk about weird things that you can do with the content. How about creating a sticker? Okay. So here what we have is we have two of our inspirational graphics and we've created stickers out of them. I'm going to talk to you about printing and all that, so don't worry. Now imagine if you could say to your clients and you could brand these because as a monthly or yearly member, you get the image brander tool. Remember that. So you could brand these and then give them out to people. And when they come to your office or you could send them out as a gift, hey, I wanted to send you a pack of stickers just to keep you motivated. Stick this on your fridge. Stick this on your notebook. Stick this on your phone. You can stick it anywhere you like. <laughs> I couldn't resist that one. But you could create a sticker. Sounds like an idea. Okay. So, yeah, as, as Laura says, hey, hey, Laura, long time. Um, you can create swag, okay? Because everybody likes a little bit of swag, okay? Um, so you could definitely create swag bags, okay? Where you would actually give them a little bag full of stickers, okay? You could you could see that, and you could use that. So that's the first thing. You could create a fridge magnet. Now imagine. Your client is going to the fridge and they want to get a nice bottle of water. And they're feeling a bit peckish and they say, hmm, I'd like a sandwich. And then they stop and they get motivated by this inspirational graphic that is stuck on their fridge. So this is how you can stick to your client's uh, mind and be always top of mind. You can be stuck there with them. And every time they open the fridge, they see your, or well, every time they go to the fridge, they see your fridge magnet. Would that be interesting, do you think, to have something like that? Okay. Speaking of fridges, I had to take down all my fridge magnets because our fridge died this week. And if I can get a boo hoo hoo, <laughs> that'd be great. 20 years and had a good life, served as well, but finally it said it's time to go to wherever fridges go when they die. Um, so I had to take down all my magnets, but imagine if I had a fridge magnet there that was really, really poignant for me. I mean, you could imagine you have an online client and you send them out a bag of stickers in a little envelope, or you send them out a fridge magnet. Hey, Jenny, I just thought of you. And I know that this fridge magnet is really going to help you. Um, you know, Best regards, your coach Richard. Okay, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you the how. I'm gonna show you the how um, later on. Okay. Um, okay. So thank you, Jane, for the boohoo. Um, Balance of beauty. Yours died also this week. Well, maybe the two of them are now in a happier place. <laughs> okay, they're in the in the place where fridges go uh, when they turn off. And I was quite sad when I unplugged it and it just went dark. I mean, it went it it. It hadn't been cold for about two days, so I had one day where I had to cook everything that was in the fridge, and I feasted like a king. Okay, so that's number seven. Um, what about creating a mug? Now, imagine here you have this beautiful inspirational mug, and every single day, your client goes to the fridge. They see your um, inspirational quote. Then they go to have their favorite beverage, nice coffee. And they see another inspirational message. I mean, you are getting inside their home. You're getting inside, you're integrating into their life. And they are seeing your message every day. Now, of course, remember, 
you would need to brand this. Okay, so you would need to make sure that your logo is on that mug. But let's say you have a high-end coaching program. Where would I create or how would I create a high-end coaching program? Ah, I could download a coaching course from PLR.me, just 50 credits. Well worth um, well worth downloading one of those. And you price this at $4.97, $9.97, $19.97. And you say, as a special, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you out a swag bag. And you physically send it out in the post. And what does that achieve? Well, not only do you have their email, you have their physical mailing address where you could mail out special offers. I mean, when's the last time that a company that you dealt with mailed you out an offer? I know the companies that I do with mail me out bills all the time, but they don't mail me out swag. And if a company mailed me out swag, I would be so happy. I mean, I remember years and years ago, um, before I worked for PLR.me, and as a member, I won a competition, and I actually got PLR.me muffins. They were really nice, shipped all the way from Canada. And I also got a T-shirt, which was PLR uh, Superstar, which I used to proudly wear. Um, that was when I was a little bit thinner, so I'm still trying to get back into that. And one day, I will wear it. And that is a challenge that I want you to keep me doing. Okay. Um, so I can do that. Yes, builds the like factor, etc. Okay. So all of these things are building the like factor. What you want to build using our content is a fan base. To build a fan base, you need to be putting out regular content. And to put out regular content is near impossible unless you have that secret resource called plr.me. And will you be one of my lucky 10? I hope so. Um, but this is the idea that to do all of this, you need content. And you need to be pumping out regular content. Now, one of the things that a lot of people often ask me is, how often should I be putting out content? Anybody have that question? Anybody wondered about that, how often they should be putting out content? And on how many social media channels they should be putting out content? Anybody, anybody kind of, have they ever wondered, well, should I be putting out more content? Should I be putting out less content? Should I be putting out tons of content? Okay, yes, okay, so yes, you have. There's two factors that come in here. One is how much time do you have? I mean, if you are putting out content four times a day, people are going to either think this person is a machine, okay? Or they're going to think this person mustn't have many clients if they're putting out so much content. I mean, they're online all day that they can actually pump out content. Okay, so that's that's the, f the, the first thing that you want to think about. If you're putting out content three, four times a day, even if it's automated, it may give the impression that you have plenty of time on your hands, okay? The second thing that you want to think about is, if you were to put content out every single day, after X amount of days, will it become too much for you? I mean, I always give the example that I, a couple of years ago, set up an Instagram channel, and I wanted to publish one picture every day for a year. And it went phenomenal for about 30 days. After about 45 days, I was like, what am I going to do? After 90 days, I had stopped because I realized that I put myself under too much pressure and I was just trying to snap any picture I could to be able to put it up on my um, Instagram profile. So if I had said, I'm going to post once a week and I had, made, I had taken like a superb photo and spent a lot of time on that photo, it probably would have been more impactful than posting every day. So think about that. Maybe it's better to post, I, I would recommend twice or three times a week. I mean, I post on LinkedIn, I post um, every day, but maybe post two or three times a week and have quality content, okay? 
And as Lani has said, be consistent. Okay, it's the C word. I always like saying that because people say, "Oh my God, he's going to say the C word live on YouTube," and I say, "Yeah, I'm going to say the C word." Consistent. Okay, you must be consistent. Why? Because as your audience start to follow you, they're watching. They might be engaging, but they're watching, and they say, "Oh, it's Monday at um, half seven uh, in the morning," and Richard hasn't posted. That's a little bit strange. But they are expecting to see your content. So you train them and you want to make sure that you deliver on that training. Does that make does that make sense? I mean, what do you think? Now you also have to take into account, I mean, uh, you know, times of the day. Maybe Fridays are a better day because I know. Certainly here in Spain, Friday afternoon, if you're still in the office, it might be the most productive, okay? So maybe you say, well, Friday afternoons are what I'm going to do it, okay? But if you post every single day, it gets, it could get too much for you. I mean, during the pandemic, I used to post two videos uh, a week on one of my YouTube channels because I had a little bit more time then. But then that became unsustainable. Um, then I restarted my podcast and I went through a phase consistently of posting every single day or every single week. And then one week I missed and then I missed the next week and I have to go back. I need to record a podcast. Um, but try to be consistent. Okay. Definitely try and be consistent. Um, okay. So a good question here uh, from Margaret. Can we post valuable content three times per week and the rest of the week, a motivational quote? My thoughts. I mean, you should be posting valuable content every time you post content. And I mean, a motivational quote is very valuable. I mean, in one Facebook group, I posted a video today and people said, oh my God, that uh, it struck the right chord with me today. I really need to hear that. So always make your content uh, valuable. And a motivational quote is valuable. So yes, you could do that. Now, if you can, use some sort of automated tool. I mean, all of my LinkedIn Facebook posts, are a large majority of them, are all automated. And I have posts that are going to post in 2028. I've already set them that far ahead. Now, I always think it could be really strange because, you know, God forbid something happens and then people say, oh, my God, Richard passed away two years ago and he's still posting on LinkedIn. How does he do that? Woo! Super weird, okay? So that's one thing, a little bit more of it. Um, always be consistent. Yeah, absolutely. Consistency is key. Sounds good. Um, I get over overwhelm with consistency. I mean, be as consistent as is possible for you. Because somebody may be able to consistently post seven days a week. Maybe you can only do once a week. I mean, I would sooner see one video a week that is really good rather than seven videos a week, which are pretty poor. Now, I think in a discussion that I had with Ronnie, he mentioned that uh, I think there's some YouTuber that only posts one video a month, but the video is so epic and so much work goes into it that people are waiting for that, that one video. Okay, so much better to do that. Um, okay, uh, Mandy says, my challenge is keeping up with all these schedules. I love to engage, but I work alone. Okay, so I mean, look for tools that will automate. Um, look for, I mean, I use a lot of automation. And in one of my niches, I have, I grow my network using an automated tool. Um, LinkedIn say you shouldn't do it, but I've researched this tool and it's it's uh, it's pretty good. But I use automation for that. I use something like Promo Republic, which was on a special. Um, I use that to automate my LinkedIn posting, my Facebook posting, um, and I post to some of my groups that 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 I run through automation. It takes time. I mean, I take maybe every three or four weeks. I spend a couple of hours writing posts to add to um, the existing posts that I have. So I always have something 
that is going to be posted every day okay so it's just about allocating out the time um yeah here's a very good question Meharin. um will people lose interest if it's every day i think i think there is a lot that can happen that people will say um let me just uh, let me go full screen here that people will say that they will lose interest if they see you every single day i mean you want to be top of mind but eventually people might say oh god it's richard again posting i mean and they won't engage in the post so test that out to see i mean if you post one week and you only post one really good piece of content and it gets a lot of engagement and then you post every single day for three weeks and you get very little engagement well then maybe once a week is good it depends on the algorithms as well because i mean it depends on the algorithms and it depends on on luck i think because i once posted a a poll on linkedin and it was my best performing poll and it was the most stupidest thing ever and i've seen a lot of people talk about this that sometimes silly polls do better than serious polls because maybe people just want a little bit of humor okay um but i i would i would try and do a consistent okay uh which platform do i use to schedule your post well there's like buffer there's um hootsuite there's uh promo republic there's a lot of them out there okay now some people will argue that um using one of these automated tools won't actually help because linkedin or facebook will know that it's an automated tool they'll know that you're not engaging and they will block you i haven't seen that experience um facebook actually do have and we did do a a live or a video about it um they do have creator studio which you can actually schedule posts as well okay um automation thank you okay so let's go back to our slides because we have just about uh, 20 minutes to go so we were looking at this of creating a mug okay, what else could you do imagine creating a cushion now how many people thought about that i mean you are actually going to get your clients to cuddle up with you it sounds a little bit odd i know but if you created a cushion you could be on their sofa with them and it would be a motivation i mean i love when i see motivational t-shirts when people are walking down the street in barcelona sometimes i think hmm that's my idea for the day now that they give me you know you are the best at what you do and you say oh that's interesting so imagine creating like one of these cushions or pillows that people you could send people and they could have um on their actual couch or on their bed or on the settee or on the chaise long whatever it may be um and that'd be amazing uh, and look at this rebuilding inner beauty okay says that would work with my dating product okay so again you are taking what we have and you are doing that now imagine if you could have a range of products that you would actually like have a store that you could sell on etsy or uh on another one of these e-commerce platforms and you could bring out your own range of motivational goods what about this free advertising create a bag i mean i always pick up bags if the store are doing a special and they say you know spend 10 euros and we'll give you a free bag and i walk around with the bag and what am i doing a i am advertising for the company b i am saying hey i am a fan of this company and i'm like in this elite group because i have the bag but we always need bags i mean now with being more sustainable if we had a bag we can send that out to our clients it's something that's small you can post it out and they go wow look at this bag and it's inspirational and people will stop and in the supermarket maybe they're behind you they will read what's on the actual bag there so think about that that a bag with an inspirational quote which would then have your logo on it could be a pretty good idea what do people think about that people like that idea is that a an oh yeah idea or is it yeah and yeah idea okay let me know what do you think and you know 
I'll take a drink. Don't forget, we're nearly coming up to the end, and I have something very special for 10 of you, but you have to wait. Love, excellent. Oh, yeah, idea. I mean, it's such a simple idea, but it's something that people don't think about. Now, what if you were to take this up a notch? And you said, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to print out a range of items from PLR.me. And I'm going to get a book printed. I'm going to get a mug printed. I'm going to get a cushion. You don't know where this is going. I'm going to put it all into the bag. And I'm going to send it out to my top clients. Yeah, uh, Rebuilding Inner Beauty says a blanket could be expensive. Okay. What if this is the bonus? for joining your top level mastermind. I mean, if I'm paying 1997 or um, 2,997, 29.97, um, and I get this in the post, I'm gonna go, wow, look at that, okay? Um, you could, uh, that's blanket will be, uh, Blanket will expensive. Yeah, I love this idea. Now, see, you guys are thinking. We've got a blanket. Um, create a drink bottle. Okay? I mean, I go around with one of these plastic bottles, but if I had a drink bottle and I had a, a really inspirational quote, every time I go and take a drink, I think of that. Okay? Um, slam dunk. A bag of swag. Okay? Roy, baby. Return on investment, baby. <laughs> um, is there a transcript? Um, once we put it up on our site, you should be able to see a transcript of that. Somebody else did ask that. Um, YouTube should probably generate um, some um, some uh, some subtitles, and also um, Facebook will actually do it. Okay, here's a good question: What is the cost-effective way to do all of this? Okay, so first of all. I mean, you are not going to give this out to people for free. I mean, this type of content that you're going to be producing would be for helping you sell your higher ticket programs. Okay. Um, this would be what you're using to say to people, hey, join my higher ticket program. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you, or you don't even say it to them, you just send them out a swag bag. Okay. Now I feel much better because not. I mean, the 1997 program that I just signed up for is not just a series of videos. I mean, yeah, I'm getting some live trainings, but now I have a swag bag. And then what do you do? Send us your photo with the T-shirt on. Send us you with your mug. Um, anybody who takes a picture, a selfie of their mug in the most unusual place in their city gets a free 30-minute session with me. I mean, the ideas are just coming. Okay, um, you, 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 you see where the potential here is and all of the content, you're putting it down from plr.me. Create another mug. I like mugs. I mean, I do like mugs because I buy lots of mugs. And this could be one of those thermal mugs for your coffee. Uh, so save the environment. And I'm going to help you save the environment. I'm sending you one of my coffee mugs. I mean, everybody goes out, whether they put juice in it, whether they put in coffee, whatever it may be, you can actually do that. Okay, so one of the questions, let me just stop this. One of the questions that people have asked is, where would I get this? Okay, and how would I do it? So let's have a look at that, because I mean, that is an important question. Now, one of the oldest sites that I can remember for doing things like this is Vistaprint. Okay, Vistaprint, I, I remember from, and I'm thinking back to something that I, I used to get there, their uh, business cards printed. When I had an idea for a business, I would get the business cards printed and give them out to people. And we're talking about that's going back probably 15, 20 years. So here what you could do is you could go in and you could get stickers. Okay, custom die cut sticker sheets. Now these are more um, elaborate because they're what they call die here. Now you're seeing here that you go in, you choose a size, uh, you choose the quantity, okay, okay, and okay, they're 32 euros, but they here are sticker sheet options, okay, they're they're probably thicker little um, stickers, but they actually 
will make people stand out. So maybe this is a VIP event that you do and you create these little VIP stickers for them. Okay, so there's one idea. Um, what else can we do? Um, we could do packaging tape, for example, uh, row labels. Okay, these are really nice. Okay, really, really nice. You can do the shape. So I want a circular shape. Um, the size I want, I want 2.5 by 2.5. Okay, I want 100. Okay, 147. But when you think about that, it's, it's 148 per unit. Now I just see the details here. It tells me um, all of the different options here. Okay, now remember, you are creating things for higher end clients. Clothing and bags. Okay, so let's go, let's go and create a t-shirt, custom t-shirts. Okay, so I wanna go into men's collections. And then what I can do is I can see how much these are gonna cost. There's no minimum quantity. Okay, I just I, I just want two of them. Okay, they are two are starting at thirty-seven dollars. I mean, if somebody's paid me nineteen ninety-seven, I I can definitely take thirty-seven uh, less. I can take uh, nineteen dollars out of that, and I can actually send them a T-shirt. Uh, what else do we have? We have the bags where the tote tote or totes. Um, we see here that these are coming in at anything from nine to $19. Okay, so I decide that I want to print uh, 10 of those. Okay, remember, this is free advertising. Okay, this is people are going to be walking around with your tote bag. Okay, and they're going to do that. As uh, somebody mentioned mouse mats. So again, you could decide, okay, I'm going to go in, I'm going to do mouse mats, or keychains, or USB flash drives. I mean, a mouse mat, um, six bucks, okay? Or this one, mouse mat with antimicrobial additive. I'm not sure what that is, but it sounds pretty snazzy. Or even here, a simple rectangular one, okay? So you could put your logo there, whatever it may be. You could upload one of our inspirational uh, images. So you have all of these ideas that you can use, our mugs, Let's just have a last look at those custom mugs, um, $8 each, okay? Um, here, this is, okay, this is an Alliance Digital Full Color Wrap. Okay, this one is just a custom mug. I could go in there and I could say, okay, I want one of these here. Okay, what color do I want? Okay, it's a, it's $11. Uh, I'm gonna get 10 of those done. Okay, $97 for my event that I'm having and people can go away and see me every single day, okay? Um, you could sell them on your site, Laura. Um, okay, let me just see. PLR is the cost effective way, at least postage. I've had people send me a box with 1K three-day training, okay? Uh, there is a site called uh, Patron that you can use. Um, yeah, you definitely would create them uh, print on demand because what you don't want, don't want to do is you don't want to have like, you know, 1,500 mugs sitting in your garage because then you would be a mug. Bada boom, bada bing, okay? You could sell them on your site if you wanted. I mean, you could sell them on Etsy, for example. But, I mean, Vista Print is just one of the print-on-demand companies. I mean, there are lots of... Um, other companies, I believe, if it's still uh, if it's still uh, working. Um, boom, boom, boom. Let me see. There was one. There was another one that uh, I knew. But if you know of any sites which are printed on demand, put them in there. Okay. Um, okay. Look at this. I mean, um, I kept this pretty cool pen that I got from this company. I mean, people love pens as well. You know, and have a call to action on the pen. Visit my website for a free gift. Ooh, that sounds really good. I mean, I have loads of pens. I always pick up pens. When I go to a hotel, I will always take the pens. Okay, what do you guys think of the idea? What what does it say to you? And while you're thinking about that, I want to tell you about something very, very special for just 10 lucky viewers. 
okay? Um, I've been authorized to do a very special offer for 10 lucky viewers. And the special offer is that with any membership you purchase today, I will give you a double credit bonus, okay? This will be on our monthly or our yearly memberships. But there is only one way of getting this, and it is limited to 10, and that is by emailing me directly, richard at plr.me, with the subject line, lucky, okay? If you do that, after this call, I'm going to make sure that I have uh, just 10 people. I will send you a special link that is going to give you a bonus of double credits, either on a monthly plan, our 299 plan, which is 400 credits, our uh, 499 plan, which is 800 credits, and that will get a double bonus, as will the 299 plan, or with our actual yearly um, plan, which is 2,500 credits, our, our top level plan, which will give you 2,500 credits plus 2,500 credits for just $990. I mean, that will give you consistent content. Our monthly plan, you would only get the double credits in the first month, okay? So this is for anybody who either doesn't have a plan with us or wants to upgrade to the next tier plan or wants to upgrade from just a free account to one of our plans, okay? So it's richard at plr.me, only available to the first 10 people. So if you are interested, if you're serious about taking your business to the next level, having enough content to build up your authority, you know what to do, okay? Barbara, that was the one that I was looking at, Cafe Press, okay? Cafe Press is another site that, uh, and I couldn't think of it offhand, that they actually do personalized gifts as well. Okay, so if I just share my screen here, and you will see Chrome tab, Cafe Press. Okay, so that was, thank you, Barbara, that was the one that I wanted to show you. So you can go in here and you can buy your, or you can buy, um, you can make your own merchandise here. Okay, now, I have a friend and she buys lots of stuff from um, Cafe Press, from Etsy, etc., because she really loves some of the funny things that people put up, okay? So start to become a seller. You can say start selling. And then you will create and upload design. We sell your design and product. You make money, okay? So, I mean, this is ideal. I mean, this you could start today. Okay, you would get our um, membership and you would start doing that with, for example, um, our wallpapers. And then you lead people to the website. Okay, now remember, um, I've already got a couple of emails in. Okay, um, so I've only 10 of those specials and I will take it on the first 10 people that come up. And what I'll do is I'll send you all of the links and you decide which one you want, okay? Whether you want to be 100% uh, bonus on the uh, monthly for the first month, whether you want to get a 100% bonus on the yearly at 299 or 499 or 990. It is up to you. I will send you the three links. You can go for any one of those but only for the first 10 people. Okay, so let's see any final questions. Uh, okay, uh, you could design it on your printer. What's the subject line? The subject line, balance of beauty is lucky. Okay, um, here's another uh, 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 place, Printify will print and order and send to your customer. You don't have to keep an inventory. Yeah, the key here is I don't want you keeping an inventory. I mean, I don't want you to say I had to um, hire, um, you know, a storage unit um, because though I, I I went off and I actually got, um, you know, 15,000 mugs and I have nowhere to, to put them. And then I'll see this on Storage Wars where somebody bids and they open it up and I'll say, oh, that's PLR, that make content. Okay, so don't ever have inventory, do it print on demand, okay? Um, discount mugs, I have, uh, is one place, okay? That's another place. I mean, there's a ton of places, 
you know. Um, Wayne, those um, those who already have memberships, um, I mean, if you want to upgrade your membership, we can we can certainly talk. There's no problems. Uh, my email again is Richard at plr.me. Okay, so. Again, just to let you know, if you've stayed here till the end, thank you so much. You deserve this special. It's richard.plr.me, subject line lucky. And for the first 10 people who email me, I don't know whether there's even spaces left yet, but do email me. They will get a double bonus. I will send you an email with a link to each of the specials that I have, and you can decide which one you want. And that's up to you. And with that, I'm going to bid you all an excellent afternoon, an excellent morning, or an excellent evening, or an excellent night. I am going to go out for a little walk, get some air, some hot air probably, because I've been full of hot air today, maybe. Or have I been full of hot air? You let me know. Um, if you like this video, give it a like. Make sure you have subscribed to the channel. Make sure that you ring the bell so that you will be notified of our next live and when we upload our next video. All right, guys, you have been a wonderful audience, and I will talk to you in 